Okay guys, welcome back to Cycle Every Day. This video is for people who uh, think about getting a Brompton or maybe just ordered the Brompton. I've had a few comments on the last few videos from people that are just about to pick up their Brompton, which is great news. I just thought I would share some of my uh, tips that I've found over the past, past few months on um, riding the Brompton. And also guys who've already got Bromptons, if there's anything you think I might have missed, put them in the comments. That's, that could be useful for anyone who's just about to start riding one of these. Okay, so first off, we're going to start with the wheel size and how this can make a big difference in terms of how to ride this, including potholes, on road surfaces, up things like curbs and also drains. The next bit we'll be looking at the kind of pedals and more importantly the ground clearance and how that has a big impact on the Brompton. Then look at folding as well in terms of how the pedals can actually damage uh, the uh, the Brompton if you don't fold it properly. So guys let me know if I've missed anything and we're just going to crack on straight away with wheel size. The wheel size on, on this bike is 16 inches which is really quite small compared to other bikes. This is one of the main things that sets it apart and obviously having smaller wheels is great because it can fold up a lot smaller than other folding bikes and also it accelerates very quickly especially from standing still at traffic lights so it's safer in terms of getting out of the way of cars but there are disadvantages which brings us to tip number one which is about potholes so in the uk at the moment and i'm sure it's the same in other places in the world in winter you get a lot more potholes occur on the roads and obviously on the Brompton, due to the smaller wheel size, you do feel these potholes a lot more. And the only way to get around that really is to just try and avoid them as much as possible, which kind of brings us on to tip number two really, which is the changes in surface of the road. So, you know, like I said already, the it will be bumpier on the Brompton when you're going over non-even surfaces. And also, when you same as any bike, when you go over drains and metal objects in the road, it's going to be slippy. But the reason why I highlight this drain is because uh, this drain is the perfect size for a Brompton wheel, as you can see in the video. And obviously, if you were to ride into that by accident, uh, you'd be straight off it and damage yourself and also damage your wheel if you're riding at speed. So the key thing here is to actually just avoid drains altogether or go the opposite way. Next point is on the curbs. So obviously the smaller wheel size, um, you can see if you go up a curb on the Brompton, you actually indents the tire quite significantly. If you do this quite quickly, you're gonna damage the wheel. So what, what I suggest is when you approach the curb, is just lift the handlebars slightly as you're going along to kind of get over that point or alternatively find a drop curb which would be the best thing to do uh, so you kind of get rid of that problem altogether and uh, you don't have to worry about that now tip number three is all about the uh, pedals uh, obviously they drive the chain which drives the uh, the back wheel and actually gets you going but the pedals you can damage these pedals quite easily if you're not too careful and the, you can see some damage on my pedals right, right now and I'm going to show you exactly how that happened but it's all down to the ground clearance on the Brompton so the distance between the pedal at its lowest point and the ground and when we, we've measured this and it's actually 9 centimeters in, uh, in distance which isn't really uh, that, that great a depth and you can see on a normal curb in the UK you, the, the pedal actually goes below the curb which is kind of similar to some bikes, but significantly below on the Brompton. So when you're pedaling along, just have to be really careful that you're not pedaling too close to curbs, because if you were to hit that with your pedal, then it could potentially knock you into traffic, for example, if, or make you fall off the bike and you know really injure yourself if you're going at some speed and also damage your pedal as well. Uh, so yeah, you just have to be really careful that you don't kind of dink it on the on the curb. But it's not just curbs. So this is an example of a tree root on a cycle path. So you see actually this tree root raised the cycle path up quite significantly. And there's not much clearance now at all on, on the pedal. And this is how I damaged my pedal in the first place. So uh, actually just caught it on, on the top of the little kind of tree root uh, where it's raised it up. So you just have to be wary of it really more than anything else when you're on a Brompton and uh, just look out for these kind of things and, and just be careful and obviously if you're going around corners just when you the side that you're leaning into the corner make sure that your pedals at the highest point so you don't hit the ground as you're going along um, the next tip number four is about folding now i'm not going to show you how to fold the brompton but this is more about making sure the pedals in line it is quite easy if you're not careful to overfold the pedal 
And the problem with that is that it can cause a lot of damage to the frame, uh, like you can see here on mine. Now this was done before I picked it up, um, but you see it's been overfolded and it's been carried around, it's been, uh, been knocked and damaged it. But the other thing I've done actually is forgot to unfold the pedal when unfolding the bike and the pedal can get stuck in the triangle, which I actually did. And you can see it can rub on the frame, the triangle at the back, and it does cause some damage to the frame if you're not careful. So it's more about being wary of actually make sure you unfold the pedal. Now the final tip is tip number five and it's about the handling on the bike. So this bike's just like riding a normal bike. Um, you know, it's very good. It, you can do a lot of miles on it. It's no issues there. You just have to be more wary about potholes, riding up curbs, and obviously you've got to be aware that it's going to be a little bit bumpier. Um, some people say it's a little bit twitchy going around corners, so you just have to be a bit uh, less heavy handed when you're turning, like on a normal bike. So I've got my 29 inch mountain bike when you turn it takes forever to turn whereas on this is very reactive and and some people you know call it twitchy uh, guys hopefully you found those five tips really useful really appreciate everyone who's kind of subscribed and hope you're enjoying the videos uh, if you like this video put, give it a thumbs up subs consider subscribing to the channel and i will catch you in the next one